Yeah, you like that? Like those feet? Uh, what are we doing? Um, oh, so what are some Patreon <laughs> for those feet? <laughs> are we going to use this? Yeah, right. absolutely. Yeah, support us on Patreon, guys. Uh, you get bonus episodes of the show. You get and access you know, to the Discord. Uh, and you never know what you're going to get. <laughs> I'm not promising anything. <laughs> Man, this shit better work. Or I, I want Patreon signups to spike. <laughs> <laughs> so support the two on Patreon. It helps us fund everything we do, and you never know. <laughs> you never, you you never know what you're gonna get. Ready? I'm ready. All right. I'm gay. <laughs> It's yeah. the silly season. <laughs> it's officially what is this? The first episode of December? Nah, no, no, we missed it. We oh. forgot about it last silly, episode. Hey, silly us. <laughs> yeah, hey? that was silly us to forget about the season to be silly. Yeah. Uh, if you if you're new to the show, every year December mm-hmm. comes along and yep. we celebrate the silly season. <laughs> Tis the season to get a little bit mischievous. Just a little bit silly. Not yeah. not crazy. Nothing crazy. Not not wild. The set's a little silly. Quite silly. The dog in Keelan's thing has a little hat. Now that's, that's definitely not serious. What a rascal. That's what a silly little bugger. Yeah. Look at him go. <laughs> Why would a dog He's wear a hat? He's got his tongue out too. He's got no reason to wear a hat. How silly. He's got ears. It doesn't even really make sense how the hat would stay on his head. Mm. Is it strapped on? I Maybe we need to give him a strap. You know what? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Uh, it's silly. You know what's very silly? Yeah. Having it be part of the set at all that yeah. it's quite the silly. decision to let Killen mm. kind of hijack our set like that I yeah. added a little um a little picture up there as well a little oh, Easter oh, egg oh yeah. there's a, oh Rosie's got a little cameo in the set good on her that, well done she's made it that uh, picture that we took in Perth at that it was called Amplify I think yeah um, a lot of people I put that on my story mm. and a lot of people from Perth said man I've, I can see what you've done there in the photo there's three. There's it's two cameras booth. in the yeah. photo booth, yeah. And it was very unclear each photo as to which <laughs> camera well, it, the, the photo sign. was being taken from. And a lot of people replied saying, "I've been in the same photo yeah. booth <laughs> and also had the photos turn out identical. We didn't know which camera to look at." Well, you know why? Because the I worked it out. If you notice, I'm the only one who's looking at the, the thing. I worked yeah. out that the the arrow was pointing in the wrong direction, so the arrow was pointing at the wrong yeah. camera. So Confusing. everyone's like looking in the wrong direction. <laughs> I think it does it on purpose to create the worst photos of all time. <laughs> it's so you smart. pay to get another they one. They were expensive as well. They were very expensive. How much is it for a photo booth photo? I'm not sure. Twelve dollars? What? Seven dollars. Mm, that's ridiculous. It was a lot of dollars. How much are Kodak disposable cameras? Probably about the same price range. Mm, I think they're like fifteen, but to get them developed is a lot. Can oh, we talk okay. about I know this isn't planned, but the, remember the girl next to the photo booth at the night? Oh, that was sad. <laughs> no, that was sad. Yeah, this, it was very funny. So no, it was. It was sad. It was very funny. So we're at. We're at. It's like a nightclub bar type thing. We're out and uh, we're having a great time. And uh, it was so many people were getting photos with Luke and I. It was actually very surprising. We were like, "Oh man, what's going on?" Yeah, I realized when I was away this year because of TikTok and yes. you're so big on YouTube. Yeah, there's always different people. It's yeah, never people who re- like. Maybe like ten percent of people go. Oh, I listen to your show. Yeah, ninety percent of the time it was it was one of us taking the photo of the of other, the other person strange. with some guy. Hey, random dude, can you take a photo of, yeah. of this of your mate and me? Um, so that was fun. The and amount then, of people that still call you Nebs blows my mind. It is strange, it isn't it? Blows my mind. Like you, the reach you had in twenty thirteen was wild. Twelve. That's so crazy, and people yeah. held on to that for yeah. like nine years. Good on them. And they're always on drugs. <laughs> <laughs> They're never yeah. sober. Yeah, They're never no. like, hey, Nebs. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Like, no! Bring back Pinger Pete. <laughs> They're, they barely yeah. even saying the yeah. ebbs. They just kind of go, <laughs> Yeah. So that's happening. <laughs> and then, and then you know, we were, we were getting swamped, which is kind of cool. But uh, whenever that happens, people who don't know you, like, like who are these people? Mm. And uh, it's me, Luke, Keelan, uh, Rosie's there, Meg is there. And uh, and also Midi, the producer Midi. Yeah, no, the girls are out bowling at this point. Oh, that's right. So it's just the boys. So yeah. just four yeah, just boys. Just a few bloody fellas. Just, just the boys, right? Four happily taken fellas, right? Yeah. All, got, all girlfriended the fuck out. It is weird when we go out together because mm. a lot of my friends do have girlfriends, even in our high school friendship group yeah. as well. It's, no one's ever really on the prowl. 
No. No. Yeah. Because usually you have like one mate. We have a couple of mates who hit on like local mums. Yeah. At the bars we go to. Yeah. And that's yeah. awesome. Yeah. It's Tyler. <laughs> You're hitting on local mums. Uh, it's, it's jungle out there. It's a jungle out there. I wasn't going to dump. No, it's usually not him. Yeah. Um, it's, it's our other friend. His name is Daniel Schmidt. Um, <laughs> Full name. Daniel Schmidt loves mums. Loves mums. But but loves like Do mums love Daniel Schmidt? Well that's that's the real thing is mm. he they love him and he likes the attention he gets from us yeah. when we go, hmm. <laughs> he's talking to a mum. Yeah. So but I he guess, never follows through. No. That's so rude. Has never stepped in an Uber. He's like, oh, sorry, I'm actually hitting on you as a joke to entertain my <laughs> friends. <laughs> that is the vibe. Yeah, that's a bit rude. Yeah. Right. So we're getting lots of photos and stuff and we're hanging out and we we took ourselves to like a corner behind this photo booth where we can't really be seen just so we can chill out. And then this <laughs> this girl, quite quite good looking girl comes over and then by herself and she just like stands <laughs> near us. It was one of the craziest and laziest pickup temps yeah. I've ever seen. It, it blew me away Yeah, how she in her brain was like, this is going to work. Well, because girls don't need to hit on... <laughs> On no, but this is how ever. the kind of confidence that girls come in with. Hot girls yeah. don't even have a plan. No. They're like, if I just exist in a space with four males, one of them will talk to me. And that's really what was, she's a pretty girl, nice dress, and she came over and she just stood there and she's like, one of these famous boys is definitely going to hit on me. And she's, she's that's standing huge there call. and then she's just famous facing boys. our table and we're talking and then we notice this girl lurking. Wait, we're just going to move on from that? What? <laughs> you... you- <laughs> No, that's what's going on in her head. Right. I'm not saying that. That's right. what clearly what she was thinking. <laughs> yeah, you just described us as look at these famous boys. It's me, you, and Keelan. Yeah, no, but but that's what's going on in Sitting her head. Sitting in a bar, one of us has some yeah. recent TikTok notoriety. Yeah. You have like a let's be honest, a 2013 Facebook following that is yeah, haunting you to this day. Still pumping. Still pumping. Yeah, but. That's this I girl's feel, like I want a piece of this. I know, I know, and that's what that's what makes me feel even more sorry for her because maybe she thought we were we were like Instagram influencers. Yeah, I don't or think she knew who we were. Or, no, she had clearly had no she idea. She just saw who we people were. taking photos. She with sees us. people taking photos with us, yeah. so she's like, "These, I gotta, I gotta hook in with one of these fa- very, very clearly famous boys. Yeah, these are these elite members A-listers. of society. A list yeah. Perth, A list plus one of these blokes has to know the right. I reckon she must have been thinking. One of them's probably been on The Bachelor, but yeah. by looking at them, yeah. maybe not. <laughs> what, one of them's she, definitely auditioned. She must have been confused because yeah. it's like, we don't look like reality TV contestants. No, no. So she's standing there and she's just facing our table and we're talking and, and just slowly, one by one, we all start to notice this chick just hovering. And then we, we look over at her and then we're all just kind of like looking at this. We go, we go, hey, and then she stands there and then we don't- I remember at one point mm. I was looking at her, you were- you were like facing the opposite to her. Yeah. I was kind of, she was in my line of sight. Yeah. I just was like, is she okay? Yeah. I thought she was like looking for someone. No, and, then, and then I'll, I'll just demonstrate what she did. She's standing there. she was there. on drugs or something. I have no idea. She's, she's standing here, right? Yeah. We'll get you killed in the zoo. Now so Lewis is just standing up. Yep. And, and the, the photo booth is over here. Yep. And then you're over here. And she. I'm just having a few bloody beverages with the boys. Yeah. yeah. And oh. she just is standing there. At one point, I was like, "What's wrong with this chick?" And then, and then she just gestures to the photo <laughs> booth like this with two thumbs. She was like, "You want to jump in this booth with me? Get a couple of twelve dollar picks." And and, and all of every, us were like, "Absolutely!" All these not. girlfriended up boys looked at her and were were just like, "Now." All good. And then she just slowly walked away. No, no, she didn't walk. She slunked. Yeah. She, she just slumped and she walked slumped away. away. She was like... <laughs> I felt so... I felt so sorry for her. It's clearly no, like... didn't. You fucking laughed. Okay. <laughs> okay. It was funny, but then but then I thought like, about it. You were like, huh, did you see that? <laughs> that was pathetic. <laughs> It was pretty funny. But then we were we, we talked like, man, she's never gonna wear that dress again. She's yeah. just like, oh man, it must have been the dress. What what's going on? Yeah, because she let's think, she looked great. Yeah, she was a but, gorgeous girl. But also that yeah, that can't that's not enough. No, but that's even the if thing. even if either of us were single, yeah. it was some intel. Is that single, enough? That would have worked a treat. 
It would, would have worked. That, that's what I mean. Think? Like, absolutely, dude. You would be like, I'm, I'm gonna jump in this booth real quick. 100%. Absolutely. Wow. That because that's all they need. They, you know, girls, pretty girls especially, they don't need to hit on people. They put themselves in position to be hit on, and that's what she did. She's like, I'm, I'm open. She was like, I'm open. We had the ball. She's like, I'm open, and we were like, I'm yeah. playing. I'm playing ball with my mates. Actually, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I actually got a real great receiver at home. Yeah, and for a memory, like, <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, mine's actually bowling right now. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, and yeah, it was very funny. Poor girl. Good on it. She had a crack. Yeah. And then remember I said at the start of the story, I was like, man, this is pretty sad. <laughs> and it ended on a pretty sad note. <laughs> no, good on it. <laughs> but it is the season to be silly. It's uh, just unlucky for her to, to, to hit on four. Oh, it's so unlucky. fuck. Boys, all four of us, because it's probably statistically very unlikely for all of us to be happily taken. Yeah. So she probably was like, it's the dress. That's probably, the only yeah. answer. I yeah. shouldn't have worn this. It was, yeah, and I, that it happens a bit because, again, a lot of my other friends are taken as well. Yeah. But not, not like we get a lot of female attention, but no. just, you know, on the odd occasion, if yeah. it does happen, we're all very confused by it by the interest of a female mm. and then they get confused by the deflection. Yes. It's a mutually confusing <laughs> yes. situation. Yeah. Um, now just back on the silly season. Yeah. This, <laughs> this is uh, more for our video listeners. I'm sorry, audio listeners. You're going to yeah. have to jump over if you want to check this out. Mm. Um, how rigid my hat goes. Ooh. <laughs> That's silly. That is quite it's erect. Silly. Does mine do that? I have a hard hat. I've got a flaccid <laughs> hat. <laughs> You do have a flaccid hat. Yeah, very oh, flaccid Oh, that hat. hat's had a few beers. Mm, oh, yeah. Whisk, Sorry. You got a whiskey hat. <laughs> I'm, it's, it's never normally like this. Yeah. <laughs> I swear. This never happens. <laughs> no, this is great. Oh, man, I'm fucking... My hat's on that Bluetooth. That's that's sick. <laughs> All right. I'm going to keep it up. See how long it stays. Great. Now, Although, if it was white, <laughs> different story. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank God it's red. Um. <laughs> Luke, we uh, we on a, on a recent episode, we got um, the world's worst do you know submission. Oh. Fan favorite game, no. do you know? Very click, very clear, strict rules. You rhyme a celebrity's name, rhyme with something else, change their name. Very funny. I've got a couple of contenders. Okay, in the came through the email. Yeah, I know we keep reading bad ones, but I don't know how we make it any clearer. Of what the rules are. Yeah. Maybe it's because we only read bad ones. No, now. no, we do that's what this that's what gets me about this segment is this segment is consistently has has the best submissions out of every other segment that we have, but it also gets the worst. Yeah. So that's and it this one can it fascinates me how people can still get this wrong. It really is And want me to play the audio. So some of them don't even rhyme. Some of them are so incoherent mm. and I don't know. Well, is this last week's one? This Keelan? is the one that you banned. Yeah, this is okay. Well, the, well, you, we're not doing this segment, right? No, that's fine. Because I, just, I put a four week ban on this segment because of this submission. That I know, was sent in and recently. I wanted to. I read a couple of the submissions this morning when we came into work. I wanted yeah. to throw my phone at the fucking wall. Okay. It made me so angry. So well, did Kieran. <laughs> Kieran was like, I came in, I was like, "Are you okay?" And he's like, "No, I'm fucking shitty. I just read the emails." <laughs> Yeah, one of the emails filled me with rage. <laughs> I got really angry in the car this and morning. Then, and then we wonder why people don't have the confidence to send them in. Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm not even sending them to get blasted on the show. All right, we'll, we'll play this one. This. Play this. G'day, boys. Hey, man. Do you know Chef Boyardee? Oh, mascot, not yeah. a celebrity. If Keelan was to give him oral sex, would he be Chef Boyardee's nuts tasty? No. <laughs> no, he wouldn't, and... I because, like how much confidence he had. Yeah. Love the delivery. You can tell he smirked when he said it. Love the delivery. Hated everything you delivered. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love how you said it. Love, hate what you said. It was the actual content. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Man, you said it well, but what you said sucked. But as we all know, yeah. crumbs can become loaves. Yeah. And Charlie... Uh, sent an email, a follow up after I after I've set, set a four week ban on this segment because of that. Yeah, we made an example out of Charlie. Yeah, and as we should. And this is an apology, not even to us, but to everyone who loves and enjoys that segment. <laughs> not even to us, to Just, the fans. The subject was simply, "I'm sorry." Yeah, good, and that was good mature. Stuff. Yeah, dear Luke and Lewis, I would like to apologise for Chef Boyardee's nuts tasty. Mm. <laughs> I made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment. Yeah. And I don't expect to be forgiven. You're not. Um, I'm simply here to apologize. Yeah. What I said Good. the other day 
uh, for the Do You Know segment was obviously unfunny. Yeah. It got the reaction it deserved. No, 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 no. It's not unfunny. It's literally not the segment. Yeah. I don't have a problem with unfunny Do You Knows. Everyone should have a crack. Yeah. If it's not funny, no, no worries. This apology has missed the mark again. Yeah. It's not <laughs> unfunny. It's fucking wrong. And that's why we're upset. I want another apology. Or it's a two-month ban. Anyway, the apology goes on. Um, I'll cut a long story short, but it says, I'm happy to receive any punishment, no matter how extreme. I'm truly sorry. Mm. Uh, then he signed it off by saying, Rod's lawnmower for the win. So okay. Charlie right. supports racism. Well, look, Charlie, I'm so- <laughs> Wow. Yeah. He supports racist and he still doesn't get the segment even after apologizing. <laughs> He's like, man, I followed all the rules perfectly. It just wasn't funny. Dude, yeah. no. Oh, but man. but again, with this apology, <laughs> love the delivery. Hated every word of what was My delivered. new favorite part actually mm. is going through the bin in the emails. Yeah, Keelan is a serial deleter of, of emails. He's yeah. He really runs through them. Yeah. Um, did we have any other terrible do you knows? Oh, one was so weird. I, it was like, do you know Kim Kardashian? Yeah. But this is not mine. This was sent in. Yeah, reality TV star, I know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If she was horny. Mm. Oh, no, sorry. It was do you know Kim K? Yeah. Yeah, I know Kim K. Yeah. yeah. If she was horny, yeah. would she be Kim K? Kinky. It, like, that's the, this is the oh, kind of things that we're getting. And yeah. I understand the thought process. Don't worry. I'm with you. But I read it and I go, sad. Yeah. You know what? Here's a new rule. Say it out loud to yourself before you send it in. Yeah. Because that mm. written, that one actually kind of worked on paper. Yeah. Kim K, King K, K. Nah. Ah. Mm. nah. Say it out loud. Tell tell one, mate. Yeah. Mm. There was another one attached with that on the same email that was... <laughs> oh, I've got it. Yeah. Do you know Lewis Spears? And and by the way, guys, if you're not enjoying this, again, this is Charlie's fault. Yeah. And it's and it's three more weeks until we and get by the, the way, back. And another gripe I have with the emails, just yeah. quickly, mm-hmm. unrelated. This was sent in by Luke Kittle. So and they're making fake emails about us. So that the real Luke Kiddle at gmail.com. See, now that is <laughs> I like that. I really I really like creating fake Luke Kiddle or Lewis Spears emails to email the show. Okay, I like, like that, that a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, Just framing you for a shit joke. Yeah. Maybe this is intentional. Maybe I sent it in. Yeah. How could you do this, man? Do you know Lewis Spears? Yeah. Heard of him? Am him. Legend. Gets hit on by chicks all the time because he's super famous. <laughs> I heard that. Yeah. <laughs> if Lewis left the show, would yeah. he be Lewis disappears? <laughs> Spears and mm. he is. Yeah. No, he'd be moving on to better things. Yeah. Because <laughs> that is rubbish. Again, and that almost made me throw my phone at the wall. Yeah. And then mm. that's that's how I start my week. <laughs> that's the thing. Like we get in here Monday morning, we're raring to go. Mm. And then Kieran's like, oh, just have a just check the emails before we kick off. I go, sure, mm. can do. And then all of a sudden, I want it to be Friday again. Mm. Yeah. Well people want to buy a drink. There's there's mate, there's a there's a plus side to everything. <laughs> Look on the bright side. Think about how much bench space you have at home. If you ever get down, so good. just think, how big is my bench? <sighs> Luke Kindle's moved in yep. to, I mean, it's a nice house. Yeah. I've seen, I haven't been there, but I've seen the Instagram stories. It's nice. It's very nice. There's nothing wrong with it. No. But dude, that bench, it's most of the house. It's and not. And you're really getting what you pay for there. 90%. A lot of bench space. 90% bench space. And we got a bunch of suggestions last week, which yeah. we forgot to go back to. Thank yeah. you very much for sending them in. Um, I did do a measurement. I'm not going to reveal. Luke and Lewis 5 at gmail.com. You can email us at any time. Or, Unless you're being attacked by a bear or something, you probably want to defend yeah, yourself, that's run the, away. That's the one rule. Yeah. Email the show anytime unless you're in severe danger. Yeah. But even still, shoot it off if you can. Well, yeah, like like if you're if, if you're your being a, if you're being attacked by a bear, you run into a cave, and then you've got a couple minutes before the, it finds you. Yeah, you know, if you have a good idea, you could shoot one off. Yeah, if as you, long as it's not going to jeopardize you. If you got like three G or like two bars, sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like but if you you know if you're in a, if you're in a plane and it's going down, of course, put on your safety vest, do your seatbelt on, attach the the oxygen to you mm. and any miner that you're with. But you know, after you've done that, there's only so much you can do. If you have yeah. a good idea on just before you hit the ground, yeah. Flick it off. 
You probably want to be flying Qantas. They've got Wi-Fi. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, maybe that's why. Maybe a lot of people are doing sending these emails in just times of death. high stress. I hope so. Because that's why they're so after, little thought. After some of these emails, I, I, would, I would like for them no longer to be yeah. here. Uh, <laughs> so um, we asked, I asked for your suggestions yeah. of what to do with my bench space. And just to give you some scale, because mm. I, look, I did measure it. I'm not going to reveal the meterage yet. Yeah. All I'm going to say is, for people who may have seen... Lewis lab before. Yeah. Lewis could use it as a bed comfortably. <laughs> That's a long bench. You wouldn't know what to do with the space around you. Man, I do. If you later, I, I would love to get a photo of you laying on the bench because the it will make you, you look small. That's shocking because I don't even fit in my own bed. And oh, it's bigger like than a, my bed. That's a queen. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. That my bed is significantly smaller than my bench. That's, you don't have a kitchen, you've got a bench room. Yes. That's great. Yeah. You, so you'd be like, when people come up to you and you go, oh, Luke, how much do you bench? You go, man, more than anyone else in the country. <laughs> how much do you pay for bench? A lot. Also more than anyone else. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is a great suggestion. Mm-hmm. Um, just, look, how, how many appliances do you have right now? Like, what are we? what's the bench at the moment? Because you've moved from a, almost a benchless house oh, to yeah. premium bench real well, estate. I, I don't want to... I don't want to brag, yeah, but there's nothing on a bench because there's th- it's an island bench that we're talking it's about. An island bench, bench. gotta get, and uh, it's got fucking yeah things on its head, yeah, it's spiky, yeah, it's got tats everywhere, mm-hmm. yeah, um, it's got really rich parents as well, yeah. yeah. Uh, the amount of bench space around the actual walls of the bench mm. has got all our appliances covered. Also, so it's like Dude, uh, this is a, it's a, our secondary bench, <laughs> right? So you have primary bench real estate across the wall, and then you just have yeah, an you know island you put, bench, yeah. and you have no use for it. <laughs> yeah, you know, you put your toaster around the wall bench. Yeah, you put a kettle appliances mm-hmm. around the sink area mm-hmm. usually, and then if you do have an island bench, if you're that lucky, yeah, you know, it is a privilege. I'm mm-hmm. not going to deny that. Yeah. Um, it's also white. It's white, it's white privilege. It really is. It is. It's yeah, a no. stone, almost marble. I think it's fake marble. Yeah. But um, either way, it's a very big bench. Mm. Nothing's on the bench. Right. It's just used for like throwing keys on when I get home. Mm. And But the problem is I You're going to have to get more cars. I chuck my keys on. <laughs> yeah, I know. You're going to have to like buy, a, <laughs> buy like a garage. The problem is that my garage isn't big enough to probably even fit the bench in it. Yeah, right. So, so already on, on primary bench, what have we got? Toaster, kettle. Yeah. And, and then in the island bench down below, there's a compartment for the microwave. Oh, well so then. in the bench space, this is what I'm telling you, mate. It's a multi-purpose bench. This, but this, I got to see this bench. Yeah. You, you should come over tomorrow. Yeah. All right. It's a long trip from Frankston. I think it's worth it. Man, I think it's worth it. Absolutely. It's probably going to be one of the biggest tourist attractions of northeast of Melbourne. Yeah. It would have to be. Yeah. I can't think of any other Literally ones. biggest. There's Welcome to Thornbury. Probably my bench. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, so what, what suggestions do we have for appliances? Oh, yeah. So someone, this one's a bit weird, I thought, actually. So the first one we got was uh, Luke should decorate it with plastic army men and tanks, like from Toy Story. I don't I, know why. Okay. I could bring over a few Warhammer miniatures. Mm, pass. Um, Doesn't appreciate true art. Someone said a large, a large fruit bowl, mate. I'd have to buy it at a grocery store. Yeah, one of those fruit pallets. Yeah, you could have, you could have your own fruit store. Oh, sorry, that is is what on it is a fruit bowl at the yeah. moment. But again, okay. it's not covering nearly, nearly enough real estate. Yeah. So, well, that's a good start. Fruit bowl, bread bowl. Yep. Um, this one I love and actually considered it, but I don't know how to do it in a portable way. Mm-hmm. Luke should definitely get a home beer tap for his bench. Oh, yeah. Simo has a keg. Can't you get a keg with a, a tap? They're called keginators, and I just think it would be too high. They're usually meant mm. to be put on the floor. Yeah. Because kegs are like this tall. If I put the keg up on the bench, yeah. it feels like that something should, that should be built into a bench, mm. not on top of a bench. You could just get like a slab of cruisers and put it on the bench. Again, what would we do with the other two and a half meters? True. A, Tyler saw the bench this morning. I'm not exaggerating. Not in the slide. No. Underselling this I think I'm underselling the size of this bench. Yeah, this sounds ri- this sounds ridiculous. Yeah, um, this is a great one, and I'm leaning towards this now. Okay, uh, I hope uh, this one's from the Hamburger. Oh, okay. All right. Well, well, let's take this with a grain of salt because you cannot trust this guy. Yeah, I've heard a lot of bad things about the Hamburger. 
all all things I've heard about him are from Ronald McDonald. So well, he, take that with a grain of yeah. salt because they they do not get along. No. I he's so the hair burglar thinks that uh, I should get a Lego Star Wars diorama. That's good. perhaps like a Millennium Falcon on there. They're expensive though. Lego's not cheap. Those adult ones are like they can run you like seven hundred dollars minimum. Yeah, the, like for like I don't know how much the Millennium Falcon is, but I'm pretty sure there was some. Definitely the Death Star was, was going for over a grand. Someone here had a, had the Death Star. They built it on stream. I think it might have been Toby or no. That's or, the Millennium Falcon out there. Oh the, right, the, the skinny one. Death Star's the the circle. Didn't yeah. they build build the Millennium Falcon out here? I oh maybe. I think it was one of the two. It was huge Death though. Star. Oh, was it's the Death Star? Sure it was the Death yeah. Star. Oh, yeah. Okay, it was massive. Um, I forget what it was. Uh, <sighs> this is just another great suggestion. But it's for the loogies mm -hmm. about the VIP table. I'm just reading sound off, so we just might as well get through it. Okay. All um, right. We were talking about suggestions to make a VIP table at the loogies. Yeah. And um, Maddie We've got some big guests. We've Maddie got said, uh, Avi. We've got maybe uh, Darren Levy. No, he's if, not going to be coming. Oh, who, probably going to be with, with, with the girls. Yeah, yeah. With the girl, of course. I've heard he fucks. Yeah. Um, we've got. Uh, That's what people are saying. We've got uh, Billy Darcy's going to come down. Yep. Uh, we've got. Uh, Keelan's mum, yep. huge guest. Rod's huge lawnmower guest. was set to make an appearance. Rod's lawnmower. Bold after the allegations that we've been throwing around about oh, it. Oh, the yeah. lawnmower. No, I think it's kind of it's kind of cool. Like, he's just like, yeah, I said it. Yeah. I'm standing by it. <laughs> like, that's tough. Like, I've never I've never seen another celebrity, like, as, as big as Rod's lawnmower, just go, yeah, I, I was, I, I was yeah. and am and still are racist. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen that. Yeah, it's pretty. I don't approve, but the yeah. confidence I have to respect. Yeah. It's kind of, yeah. Mm. Not, not apologizing is the best way to eliminate any cancel culture. Not even I mean, Richard Spencer did that. Who's that? <laughs> Just like a very, very well-known white supremacist, but he goes, I'm not a white supremacist, but then he does all this Nazi shit. Yeah, right. Yeah, cool. Well, that's probably a good one. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, but yeah, there's a great suggestion from Maddie. She was saying perhaps we should uh, get flags, make a full procession and have a nice official walk-in, get them some robes and mm. someone holds in with a flag at the front and the whole audience, so just before we start the show, yeah. um, the whole audience has to get on their feet and salute the VIPs as they walk in. That's good. And Reese Maston was suggested for the song playing in the background. That's really good. Yeah. I don't know about robes. I'm not sure if, if you guys know how little money this show makes. Yeah. Join us on Patreon. But we, maybe we could, we could get costume shop quality. We could get them to bring robes from home. Or I have a couple of old Jedi costumes you from the 12 You know who has a day. big collection of matching robes? Rod's lawnmower. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and Richard. Mm, yeah. Richard Spencer. Yeah. Is that his name? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the final suggestion was from Josh, Ice Machine, for summer. <laughs> for the bench Let's, I think Tyler's Gonna shit his pants oh. You like that one? Yeah, it, was <laughs> it was good Yeah Yeah I like Ice Machine. <laughs> Ice Machine's good. I think that's. I think that's. You, you're you're at the point of bench oh, space where you just need to start go to Kmart and start buying shit. I saw a popcorn machine there the other day. They have ice want makers. To, nothing worse than walking through Kmart and being so tempted mm. by all that shit. All like, those appliances, we toasters. Have, we have a soda stream. Waffle maker. It's never been used. Man, why do you need gas in your water? I don't want bubbly water. I use the soda stream every fucking day. No, see, I hate that shit. I don't want. A, I don't want a popcorn maker. I don't want a cotton candy machine. You can buy anything from mm. Kmart. Yeah, they'll do it. You really can. I, I could probably fill it with like a, a eighty dollar advent calendar, mm. but I don't want to. You know how they make um, all the new Kmart stores? They have a little bench top appliance that makes an entire box Kmart store, and really? they just they just set it up on a bench outside <laughs> a shopping center, and it just pops up. Wow, you could fit a Kmart on your bench. I probably could, <laughs> at least fit a homeware section. Yeah. Um, this one came in from Rod, actually. Um, I'm not sure if it's the Rod, mm. but I'm looking at the profile picture. Goes for Port Adelaide and definitely looks over 40. Okay. Well. So could be the Rod. Okay. Um, sounding off with the bench list. I appreciate this, Rod. Fruit bowl, yeah. coffee machine, yeah. a plant. Uh -huh. I already got a kettle and a toaster. Picture frames, question mark. Yeah, maybe. Little, little picture frames. Oh, yeah. I was not laying on the like, like what, face up. Honestly, <laughs> could fit half a museum on that bench. Okay. Maybe we should make it into some kind of exhibit. And I, I like change that. it seasonally. Like we do a Christmas one, <laughs> then it becomes Easter. Well, it's, and I do I it on the like, Kmart calendar. Yeah, at, at museums, I, I always like walking a really long route. And, it, and you yeah. see everything in order, right? If you go all the way around the bench, what, what would that take you? About 
couple hours. Yeah. <laughs> doing a sure. radius of the bench. Yeah. Yeah. Probably have to get like a couple of trains or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's good. Um <laughs> I like that train set all the way around the bench. Oh, Brio. I still have some. Yeah. When I was a kid. Go for it. Train set. I really like that. Yeah. I want one where like a mechanical train where it goes around. Yeah. Do it. I reckon that's, that's what you do. Cool. Train set. Train set. All the way around. I mean, it'll be expensive. What, what are you going to need? Like uh, 10,000 metres paying. of train tracks? Fucking arm and a leg for this bench. I don't know if I can afford new train sets. If anyone wants to donate a train set, I'd be interested. This is the last one. Oh, get a table side violinist. People really think I'm balling these days. Mm, well, I man, can't afford a personal violinist. Mate, you look at your bench and you go, oh, Luke Kitchell's made it. Yeah, that's Look true. at that bench. I've never seen a bench like that in my life. It's, it's from Zach. And Zach, you're correct. It does scream side violinist. Yeah. But I cannot afford that because of how much I'm paying for this bench. Mm. Um, and this is the final thing I'll read. Thank you for your, for your suggestions. I'll consider them. I think Beer Tap and Star Wars Lego actually is the best suggestion mm. so far. This is not a suggestion. It's I think it's a challenge from Ben yeah. to sound off. My bench at home is much bigger than Luke's. But to be honest, size doesn't really matter. It's how you use it. Mate, send us a send us a video of your bench. I call bullshit, Ben. Yeah. I would I would love to have a bench off with you. If anyone has ben. a bigger bench, yeah. let's have a bench competition. Send your, in your, your name benches. is shorter than the word bench, mm. Ben. That's right. So there's something in that. H. Suck that. Yeah. Show us your bench, Ben. We want to see it. Bet right? it's not even your bench. Bet it's mummy and daddy's bench. And you know what? It, if anyone has like an obscenely <laughs> large part of their house, or like a like a like a giant table, I want to like who has a who's got the biggest toilet? Like, do <laughs> like you have like in a diameter? <laughs> yeah, like do you have like a? I want to. I want to, something that you would never expect to be. That I want large. someone to have like the biggest windows. Yeah, like who who listened to this show has like the Lewis Spears of of showers. Yep. That's probably me, actually. I've got a shower head in my roof. That's quite tall. I have probably have the tallest shower of the show, but it's not big. I, I didn't want to, I want to say anything when I went to your house the other day. What? It's, it's not important. It's, it's how you use it. It doesn't matter. What? I feel like Ben. What? My shower's bigger. Well, no, that's fine. Mine's... <laughs> I care about height. You know, yours is taller. It's a pretty nice house. Right. <laughs> That's your shower. <laughs> oh. Really? You own it? No. Oh, you're right. Sorry. Is, you're right. It's a rental. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man. Hey. Can't relate. Yeah, sorry. Could have bought in Frankston. Yeah. Chose not to die. Ooh. Lewis. Mm? Lewis, you know what I should put on my bench? Um, some. Some Angel Grove collectibles. Wow, that's a from great From angelgrovecollectibles.com. Yeah, but you're going to need a lot of collectibles from angelgrovecollectibles.com. You might... Want a discount code, otherwise you might break the bank. Okay, I have an idea. How's ten okay. percent off sound? That sounds great. How's the code sound off ten sound? That sounds great. Use code sound off ten for ten percent <laughs> off whatever you would like from angelgrovecollectibles.com. They're seriously so good. They got action figurines. Did yeah. you see on the story during the week? People are the people are rejoicing. People mm-hmm. love to see it. Yeah. The R2-D2 Tamagotchis are back in stock. Yes. Let's sell them out again. Yeah, get them right. out of here. Yeah. <laughs> they, Sound off they 10. They to fucking go. Yeah, all right? that's right. AngelGroveCollectibles.com. <laughs> get them out of here. All of their stock, I want it to leave. Yeah. All right, use our code Sound of 10 if you're going to do it, though. And, uh, yeah, support the brands that support the show. Angel Grove Collectibles. They're at Oz Oz Comic Comic Con Con this weekend. Oh, man. Maybe I should go to Oz Comic Con this weekend. I didn't know it was on. Dude, if there's one thing I love, it's angelgrovecollectibles.com. If there's one thing I hate, it's them having items in stock. Get them out of here. (laughs) Sound off 10. 10% off. Support the brands that support the show. All right. It's time for Frankston Tales. <laughs> Every time Kiel thinks that's way funny than it is. Yeah. All it right. It's pretty good. Quick side story 2 a.m., 2 yep. 30 a.m., guy on a dirt bike riding up and down our street for an hour. Yeah. Yeah. That's not the tale. That was just something that kept me up all night. <laughs> that's a story. Yeah. No, that's that's every that's every weeknight, weekend <laughs> night. Yeah. Nice little Sunday night. It blows my mind yeah. that you. Put all your life savings into to be part of this community. Mate, it's an upcoming area. 
they, we literally can't go backwards. Your suburb, yeah. all it has is backwards. You've That's re- true. You've reached the top. You're fully gentrified. Me, I'm you getting better how, every day. You know what my, my suburb did? What? They, they were duplicating the train line near my house. and it, What does that mean? So, like, they're making... It's a single train line after a certain point yeah. towards the back end of the line, <laughs> yeah. right? And um, then they were making it two train lines, like two tracks. Right. Yeah. Right? And then it got stopped... Because they found a rare butterfly in the area, and now they've shut down works down the entire line. I'm not joking. I found out about this this week, and I was like, "A butterfly." At what point? Look, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know much about environmental stuff, but yeah. at what point is one butterfly? Yeah, that's great. We should save it. Yeah, but now everyone's driving into the city every day. At yeah. what point is what's worse for the environment? Mm. Having a great, efficient mm. train line with a bunch of people mm. avoiding driving every or day. Or one butterfly. Or one butterfly. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Something to think about. Something to think about it. Well, that's, that's what I mean. Like, your suburb can only get worse. It's gotten so good that you're just thinking no, about, let's they, just get rid of the butterflies. They keep trying to make it better. Yeah. Like, it's, there's so little problems in my area yeah. that they're like, oh, new butterfly, save mm. it. Mm. That's insane. Yeah. That's our biggest problem in yeah. the area. People are protesting about butterflies. I think uh, Frankston recently banned butterflies because they were too gay. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that. Yeah. Yeah. A bunch of blokes are like, I'm sick of seeing these pretty bugs. It's yeah. gay. Ban them. Yeah. <laughs> um, so here's my Frankston tale. Yeah. Uh, I'm a semi-frequent patron to Rebel Sport because mm-hmm. I get all my swim gear there. Now. Because <laughs> uh, you're a professional athlete. So I'm a professional athlete. athlete. Uh, uh, but I'm on rest due to my swimmers, swimmers yeah. injuring my swimmers ear, um, which we'll get to do after this. Uh, I found the real cause. Um, <laughs> so it's so much more embarrassing than swimmers ear. <laughs> so <laughs> if you can imagine that, <laughs> so go to the Rebel Sport. Yep. Uh, recently, near the Rebel Sport, giant vaccination center was opened, right, to get everyone vaxxed. and the Rebel Sport has closed indefinitely because too many people keep vandalizing the front of the Rebel Sports store thinking that it's the vaccination center. <laughs> Just some, some misdirected anger so not towards only, Rebel. Not only are they very anti-vax, they don't know what the center looks like, so they just take all their rage out on Rebel Sport. <laughs> It's like, you know what, their, their prices are not competing with online at the moment. No, they're I've, really I've not. thought of giving my local Rebel Sport a bit mm. of a serve as well. Yeah. I went in there looking for some running shorts. Yeah. And I was like, Jesus, I'm not made of money. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know, I've got to pay for this bench. Oh, yeah. $60 for running shorts. Mm, that's but a like, lot. like just Nike running shorts. That's insane. That is a lot. Um, and there's, there's a bit of a cold war going on between one person and all of the cafes near the vaccination center. One person every day, part of their routine, puts up anti-vax <laughs> stickers. And then immediately in front of that person, the staff come out and take it off the windows. And Jazz has seen that happen like three or four times every single morning because she goes there at the same time. And it's just sticker on, sticker off they just every morning. They just put out their own sign being like, we are not a vaccination hub. We sell sports goods to wannabe professional athletes in Frankston. Yeah. So that's uh, that's going on at the moment. So Jesus. you can't you can get vaccinated, but you cannot get shoes. The juxtaposition between our two neighborhoods mm. blows my mind. It's pretty good. Isn't Just it? the the uh, people were quite literally raging about the butterfly at the pub mm. during the week. <laughs> this music, yeah, is uh, is supposed to be ironic for the Frankston this, segment. This but music it, is your suburb. It's what I hear when I go to sleep at night. Yeah. I'm like, ah, oh, another good day. No crime. Being pretty well off. I have no no <laughs> desi- no desire to to get a security camera system installed in the house. I don't it sometimes don't even well, I've stopped locking my gate because I want Barry to come in and water my plants. Really? So I Meg's on we should get a lock for that gate. And I was like, no, how will Barry get in mm. when we're not home? So I want him to come in when I'm not there. <laughs> That's how much I trust my neighbours. Yeah. Yeah. It's a real type of neighbourhood where, like, people get disgruntled of any change. Uh, I've noticed, yeah. like, people on Saturday mornings, you know, sun's out, they're walking down with a pram. Yeah. And, you know, we, we live in some, like, new townhouses that have just mm. been built, and every day I get glared at because I'm, I'm the equivalent of, like... You know, town- See, yeah. you know what? That's what happens to nice places. They turn into townhouse cities, and oh, then they get annoyed. Dude, it is, like, it's definitely... I am feel... 
like not a part of it. They're like you, you ruin your town, it. Your townhouse, your county. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's what happens. Um, see, you leave your door unlocked because you'd like a visit. Mm. If anyone in my house leaves the door unlocked, that's like immediate family meeting. Hey guys, it's very important that we do not leave the door unlocked. Yeah, I act differently. <laughs> Like when I used to come to your house in Frankston, like yeah. you were like, mate, make sure you lock the front door. I was like, why? And he goes, because people like Rod walk in <laughs> and bash on the door. Still my favorite thing I've ever seen at front of your house. It wasn't like, yes, I saw a lot of crime. Yeah. Yes, we've seen a lot of fuck shit. Mm. But my favorite thing I've ever seen was when I saw the guy <laughs> sprinting past on his run with no shirt on smashing Rockstar. Yeah. <laughs> like just smashing energy drinks mid run. Yeah. King. Just the lack of... It was just so much to unpack. The lack of education <laughs> mm. like, was just like a huge component of why I thought it was funny. Like, yeah. he, In his brain, he's like, I need more energy to run. I'll do it mid-run and I'm, I'm going to be replenishing yeah. my running energy with fucking Rockstar. It's crazy. So, <laughs> it was the best thing I've ever seen. But if seen. you break it down even further, it's fucking crazy <laughs> to have the idea to drink an energy drink during a run. Even before a run. Yeah. You'll, don't drink yeah, it. Yeah. Maybe but, after if you uh, don't know what, Yeah, how bad energy drinks But are. what's even fucking crazier than that is let's take the running out of it, going, I need an energy drink and choosing Rockstar <laughs> yeah, so is much, so much weirder. He went past Red Bull, V yeah. and Monster and Didn't even go with Monster. Rockstar. Landed on fucking Rockstar. I mean- Maybe like, no. The only way you can get- Frankston, I bet the Servo was sold out. It only had Rockstar. <laughs> I the bet only they way you sold get, out of every other brand. Only way you get weirder than that is going, no, you go, fuck Red Bull. I don't need a V. Who needs Monster? Rockstar, no thanks. I'm going with Bang Energy because I love tits. That's so American. Mm, they Bang. sell them here now though. Oh, really? They, it's, it's, Dude, say what you like about how they market. Titties really do sell energy drinks. Of course. Look at their target audience. Yeah. Teenage boys yep. playing video games. Mm -hmm. There you go. So, um. Onto my swimmers here, mate. Uh, maybe we, we can wrap up the show with this. Uh, Lukey's voting, by the way, is open. LukeandLewis5.com. <laughs> cast your votes. You do not cast the votes by email. We've been getting some emails recently going, I would like to vote for, what are you doing? Okay. LukeandLewis5.com. There's a voting form. Go and vote. That really, the best guest of the year. Really set Keelan off. Yeah. <laughs> Someone emailed saying, by the way, uh, just... Just the day before voting, can you put my vote in as whoever comes second to last? Thanks, bye. <laughs> Not how it works. Killing. And now, I now I'm gonna gonna assume that is a joke. I I would I, I think hope so. I smirked when I saw that email. Yeah. Um, Killing Killin had a terrible drive. Into almost work. kicked his fucking phone into the door because we get them all the fucking time. <laughs> he hates it. He's off it now. He's so off. Please it. use the form for Keelan's sake. And and you know what. If you are voting via email, and mm. I agree we haven't potentially explained it properly, <sighs> yeah. but you are still dumb yeah. because <laughs> because 2,500 other people figured it out. Yeah. So, yeah. like, you are in the minority side. But that's nowhere near enough. There's at least 5,000 people who listen to the episodes. Oh, I want to sure, see yeah. 5,000 votes. Not enough people have actually voted. And yeah. it's you go on our website, lukeandlewis5.com. There's mm -hmm. a little tab that says Lugies Voting. Yeah. Then you fill out the little... It's like just little... Actually, Google to form. get in, to get into the comics land, you need to do two things. You need to prove your vaccination status and you need to prove that you voted. And you need to have a black tie. And Wait, you need to on. also vote. You vote. have to prove uh, that you're pay. vaccinated? That's it. I'm going to fucking smash a rebel sport. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so off that. Where's the nearest sporting goods store? Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, it's three things. Yeah. You need to prove that you've voted. Yeah. Sure. Vaccination card. The less in, least important of the three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Maybe not. Yeah. Black tie, very important. Very important. Uh, voting, very important. Oh, you also need to pay. Oh, and have yeah, a ticket. Have have a ticket. Four <laughs> things. Yeah. What was the other thing you said? You lost track. No. That's it. Okay, great. I said three. Okay. Vaccination Good. card, mm -hmm. uh, black tie, mm -hmm. voting, yeah. and also pay for a ticket. Yeah. Yeah. You, you can't prove you voted, things. you'll be asked to leave. Great. Yeah. Cool. Not by us, by Keelan. Yeah. We're not policing that. Yeah. <laughs> That's all him. And another thing, you have to show great respect to the VIPs. Yeah. We, we, <laughs> they are we'll, very important. We'll talk about maybe they do get an entrance. Yeah. I think it just so. seems like another thing we have to coordinate yeah. on the night. Yeah. Keelan's already off it. No, yeah. we're not doing that. <laughs> not doing that one. I liked it, Manny, but yeah. it's just an admin error. Unless someone wants to step up to the plate and coordinate that, mm. 
I'm not putting my hand up. Yeah. I'm going to be backstage focusing. Yeah. What are you going to be doing? <laughs> Uh, Are you going to be putting your hand up to organise the official entrance of the VIPs? Well, I need to run to a few, to a few Rebel Sports beforehand. <laughs> okay. So, I'll Tyler, do a few errands. Any, any volunteering here? I'll do it. No, he's... No, you're see, Tyler's it. new, I'm, I'm yeah. where, I'm where right? He's trying to impress us. And he's us. trying to impress. He's yeah. sucking ass right I'm now. Yeah. Have a job, but look, if, yeah. if it needs to be done... Keelan's shaking his head. Yeah, Keelan's, Keelan's, Keelan's up. Take Keelan's word over your, your mm. words. Sorry, please. Yeah, I just think we, if we, we do, we have a tendency to over-promise and under-deliver. Mm -hmm. So that's officially <laughs> not a promise. <laughs> Maybe can, next year. You can count us on that. Yeah. We will not be doing pretty much anything different. Mm -hmm. We might get some nice bollards. Yeah. And we'll yeah. label it VIP section. And I'm still going to ask Meg if we can use our nice cutlery set. Okay. I <laughs> just yeah. think she's going to say no because it's yeah. her parents. Yeah. Well, uh, I think we, it's almost time to wrap it up. My ear is fine. Oh, yeah, sorry. My ear is so bad. Yeah. I went I went back to the doctor after like a week of antibiotics and then the doctor looked at my ear and went, oh, yeah, that's not good, <laughs> is it? That's, uh, that's bad, right? So then she gave me these horse... She goes, I'm going to pres prescribe you the horse tablets. Was this the same doctor that said it's fine a week earlier no the first doctor was uh the first doctor was i did it over zoom i was in so much pain that i couldn't get to the doctor so oh, we yeah, did a remote yeah, right. one and uh that's actually quite funny i had never done a remote doctor uh, thing before it's a scam it's like uh it's basically a zoom call you're in a queue and then a doctor accepts you and they're and i thought i thought they'd be in i don't know why i thought they'd be in like an office or something they're just at home doing they're just day. at just at home just sitting there i've seen meg do them yeah throughout covid yeah biggest scam yeah like look the doctors are great fair enough and yeah. it was during covid it was the only way to do it yeah but now that their things are back and they're still offering this like this is a i reckon they're making more money Oh, dude, yeah, because they actually churn through them. Yeah. Because in person, it's hard to kind of be like, all right, well, yeah, you know, it's a 15-minute appointment. Mate, they are just cutting people off at yes. 14 minutes, 59 seconds. Yeah. There's They're like, oh, timer. don't have Zoom Pro. Sorry, yeah. you're out. <laughs> See ya. Right. So I am waiting in queue for ages, and then this woman answers, uh, answers the call, and she goes, hey, Lewis, uh, how are you feeling? And I'm like, oh, if I'm feeling really bad. Uh, and she goes, oh, that's, I'm really sorry to hear that. She's been really nice. She goes, I'm real sorry to hear that. I'm like, oh, this is kind of nice. And she goes, um, what's, so, what's, what's been going on? And I went, oh, I've got like a terrible ear infection. She goes, oh, that mustn't help. Um, tell me a little bit about yourself. And I'm like, oh, uh, I'm 27. I'm a male. And she goes, and what do you do for work? I'm like, uh, I'm a comedian. She goes, oh, okay. And... Um, why don't you tell me a little bit about your family history? And I'm like, oh, well, mum's never really had a, this is a date. Ear, in, ear infection or anything. I think it's because of swimmers. You, you ear. keep trying to bring it back I to the ear. I keep trying to bring it back to my ear. She keeps trying to she take it away. And she's like, oh, okay, you, you do a little bit of swimming? And I'm like, yeah, this yeah. Like, sounds she's like a date. So uninterested in the ear. Uh, and I'm like, yeah, it's quite bad. And she goes, and how's life at home? And I'm like, was this? Did you book uh, a mental health thing? And then, and then I'm like, oh, I have an ear infection. She goes, oh, Lewis, I think I've accidentally answered the wrong call. Oh, <laughs> I got a therapist. Oh yeah, <laughs> I booked I booked a doctor's appointment, and then I I start talking about my my family history with this woman, and I thought she was talking medical, but she was like sitting there with the tea. She I thought when she answered, she looked like a hippie lady. I'm like, oh, what a cool little little hippie doctor. It was, a, it was a mental health appointment. Yeah, don't, not often do you see someone in dreads who mm. enjoys medical practices. Yeah, so that was nice. That brightened my mood. And then I got a real doctor. Yeah. He prescribed me antibiotics. Didn't really do anything. I'm still in terrible pain. And then I was going to see my actual doctor in person and she gives me better um, antibiotics. I'm feeling a lot better now. But she goes, how, so how did this happen? I'm like, oh, I think it's like when I was swimming uh, I thought I swam the day I got vaccinated. So maybe I was inflamed and water went in, but couldn't come out. And she goes, really doesn't look like that's what's happened to me. It looks like it's almost, there's like some kind of cut or injury. And then, <laughs> and then there's like, it looks like inflamed, like there's bacteria. It doesn't look like water to me. I've seen it a lot. I don't think it's swimming. You probably shouldn't have to worry about swimming. And then I was like, oh, that's strange. And then I went home and I thought about what could that be? And then I remember 
when we filmed with How To Basic and he threw sour cream so hard at my left ear. Greek yogurt. Greek yogurt, sorry. And it went, remember that? It went straight in my ear. I specifically remember. That really hurt my ear. The slap. And it's the part of the video. If you want to go check out the video we did with How To Basic, it's on our channel. Just scroll back a few videos. Um, We did a QA. It's the part where Lewis starts to look like the Phantom of the Opera. Yeah. Where he has half his face covered in Greek yogurt and. You turn to ask me something. Because I'm just like this, looking at you. He just copped a cake of yogurt, yeah. just and it went so far in. So and I remember the sound it made, and I remember <laughs> you being like, "That was loud, like that hurt me because yeah. it because of the yeah. noise of the yogurt yeah. hitting my eardrum." And then there's an extended cut on Patreon where we're having a shower, and I'm trying to get it out of my ear, and I can't get all of the yogurt out of my ear. Yeah. So a hundred percent. How to basic gave me the, the worst ear infection of my life. Yeah, you got yogurt ear, yeah. not swimmer's ear. Really terrible. Which is probably not too common. No, I well, wouldn't. Did think you so. tell did you tell the doctor? Like, oh well, I didn't realize until like I at got home. yogurt thrown at me at a yeah. pretty aggressively. I will tell her next time I'm in and she'll go, Oh yeah, that's not supposed to go in there. Yeah. I don't think that the doctor needs to be informed. I think I know that's not really something that's but supposed to happen. But what are you gonna happen. do about it? I just have to eat, they eat these tablets that are like this big until it gets better. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Good luck. Mm. All the best for your recovery. And abstain from yogurting myself in the yeah. ear. Very good. Just stay away from How to Basics House. Yeah. Um, that's where we're going to end it, guys. And just quickly, thank you very much for your Spotify wraps uh, yes. during the week. We saw it all. We appreciate that. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm sorry to all that. We know people listen on Apple and yeah. Pocket Cast. Apple do a wrap for the, all those Whatever. people who are poor and weird. Yeah. Or your alternative yeah. freaks. Mm, yeah. Just pay for a good service. Keelan's getting angry. He's yeah. bubbling. He's bubbling. <laughs> He's raging. <laughs> um, we want to know our most, uh, our highest listened person or whoever listened to us the most. We so had one, but we think it's fake. We think it's fake. We okay. had one that I put on my story. It was 50,000 minutes of the year, which I looked it up. Is 35 released? days of the year we didn't accumulative. Um, that much content. Well, it said 198 episodes and we only released. Yeah, a hundred. Zlamo in the in the Discord, mm. fourteen thousand minutes. Fourteen thousand sounds more realistic. more realistic. Yeah, that's crazy. Because fifty was like sorry s- about that, dude. So high that I was like, yeah, I know forty thousand is a lot of time. You know what I was doing? People were sending them to me, and if they weren't high enough, I was sending them to the crumb corner. <laughs> <laughs> no, we that's we good. appreciate everyone who casually tunes in. Yeah, anyone, Keelan. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. But yeah, thank you. It was uh, it was very lovely. It's kind of uh, good, you know, reminding yourself. Oh, people do enjoy yes. what we do. Yeah, it is. It is very very cool. Um, so thank you very much. We'll talk to you guys in a couple of days. Make sure you vote in the Loogies. Make sure you get your tickets to the Loogies if you're in Melbourne. Both of those at lukeandlewis 5com Vote now, please vote. Vote in closes soon. Uh, it's coming up. It's on the twenty second of December. It's two weeks away. The yeah. Loogies. So get your tickets if you want to come in Melbourne. We're back to full capacity and mm. it's selling quick. It yeah. look it's looking like it will sell out, which yes. is very cool. And uh, if you're not in Melbourne, get get your live stream parties ready. Yeah. Uh, get your wallets ready yeah, and get that uh, debit card ready to go. Yeah. Get mum's debit card. Apply it doesn't for a credit card. Yeah. Now yeah. put yourself into financial debt. Ruin yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Put put the life savings into Dogecoin. If it triples, give it all to us. If it dumps, too bad. Bad luck. That's yeah. the game, baby. It's life. Cool. All right. <laughs> See ya. December twenty second. <laughs>